1. My Nan. A woman so peaceful she has spent her life working since the age of 14, where she worked at a till, nothing much but the start of her journey. Whenever I step inside her house, I smell the cigarette smoke and it feels like home. She sits in that sofa much older than I am, with her burgundy slippers and pastel clothing, smiling away. She is so kind that every time we visit, she gives us money, no more than five pounds each. Mum always insists to keep it, save for another day, but now her days are spent. I grasp the clothing of hers and look at a fiver like I've never seen it before. 2. My gran, or as we call her, Granny Lynn. She brings the life to the party. She may be freshly retired but that won't stop her from smiling. She lets me stay round if I'm around and never closes the door. She puts on her makeup to hide the parts that have aged past her love for music just like she did in her Glastonbury days. She doesn't hide her heart. Her clothes are bright with the flowing fabric that sways in the breeze as if it's still the 60s and 70s where her life was easy. I don't think she wanted to grow up. I don't know if she ever fully will. She's the cool grand that I want to be. 3. My mum, Danielle, or Dee for short. She's there for me, like no one else. She sends me updates on my siblings now that we're four hours apart. When we talk on the phone, I feel I have too much to say, but I could never say enough. My mum is a tough lover. She knows how to wind me up, but remind me it's all for fun. And when friends are around, she'll put on a show. She's the best parent host. When my mum joined Facebook, she friended as many of my friends as I did. Keeps checking with me to see if I see their posts too. See what I'm up to. We don't talk as much as we used to, but I'm working on that. 4. Me. The narrator of this story. Looking back over the past three years, I've watched these women change, illness and loss. Things never spoken, just remembered. When great-granddad died, four women sat on the patio, three smokers and I, unsure what to say. I listened. I learnt more about my family in those hours of smoke and speaking than I had in the years before. I realised the luck I have to have a great-grandparent, to joke that when my friend calls, it's a boy called Charlie. In that moment, I realised I have strong women in my family, and that will keep me going and be the next in line of strong women.